Welcome back to Doom 3. This is level 6 of the last mission. Let's grab some plasma cells. Plasma gun there if you need it as well. Let's do a little reload. And head through to engineering. We're looking for the plasma inducer. Okay, we've got ambush right there at the start. Take a quick look around. Molecular engineering, storage. Let's see what we find in storage. Okay, there is a health station in storage. Beautiful. So the ammo as well. Locked, and uh, we have found the plasma inducer. So we need to make our way back. Whew. It's a little bit dangerous around here. Oh my god, where did you come from? Just drop down from the ceiling. Oh, from there? Okay. PDA Travis Flotsam. Uh, let's take a look at this. It's Travis Folsom, construction update. Travis Folsom, construction supervisor for the Exus Labs facility. We recently reached substantial completion on the facility's engineering sector and began work on the environmental systems sector early. At this rate, we should be able to impress the big boys up in Central Authority and score our completion bonuses. And last week I reviewed the construction documents and found another item where we can cut costs. My glass subcontractor mentioned the Moxum pressure seals for the exterior windows can be replaced with much cheaper Mixum seals. I submitted the alternative material selection to the base architect for review. On our Tuesday progress meeting, he argued the Mixom seals aren't up to spec. <laughs> he complained that those seals are inferior and could cause air leaks or glass blowout. What the hell's he doing? Got some big grass with things. Designed a fancy hotel. Hey, guess 
guess what? I was building shit before he was born. Anyway, I managed to get the mix-off seals ordered, I bypassed the architect, and talked directly to corporate. I shall get the savings, and that sealed the deal. We'll be installing the exterior windows in Environmental in a week, and he will never know the difference. I'm so convinced the glass and seals will hold up that I'm gonna take a rocket launcher testing on those. Stupid architect. Pulls him out. Okay, Andy uh, Kalazos, unstable sonic conditions. Mr. Folsom, a number of foundation piers had excess research. Sector collapsed today. It occurred during another short but powerful quake in the area the third this month. We've talked to Sybil about existing terrain conditions and they're just as perplexed. Must should have no seismic activity at all. Geologically, it's all dead. The team will re-excavate the piers tomorrow and hopefully get back on track. Andy Kamazos. Lucky winner. You've just won the grand prize of the Lucky Cash Winner Contest. What are you going to do with all your newfound wealth? We are here to help. Call now. Uh, Mars Weather. A special weather statement. Mars Weather Service. Okay. Significant weather advisory. Strong dust storm was located over Aries Vallis, moving east at 60 miles per hour. Uh, okay. Okay, tricky little section there, getting through there, closing the shutters, taking out the revenant. Uh, let's continue through. Oh, those guys are nasty. They love the chain gunners in this mission. Let's go through. Got some health. Oh, got some, uh, some zombies stuck in the door. Okay, so we can uh, jump, jump and uh, crawl through this window. box out of the way, so if we push it back, uh, you start to jump, uh, jump and then duck through the window. Well, so let's grab that and shoot through the uh, window. We can uh, duck through again. Get more zombies around. So just around here, uh, you'll see a little post-it note 372, that's the code to these lockers here. Some ammo. Okay, let's grab all of those. And we'll check out the PDA as well. Uh, Benice Tooley. 
This is Bernice Tooley, operations coordinator stationed in Exus Labs. I would like to file my third formal complaint to Central Authority about the problems with the work environment here in Exus. It has become increasingly difficult to be productive while construction is going on throughout the facility. The construction workers are rude, lack common courtesies, and are overtly sexist. They use our office space as an unauthorized shortcut and track dirt and debris as a result. In addition to their mess, they insist on drilling and hammering during our core staff hours. Some of them have repeatedly made inappropriate comments that clearly fall under sexual harassment. When I approached the construction supervisor to remedy the situation, he told me in no uncertain terms to mind my own business. Actually, his exact words were, don't worry your pretty little head about it. We are already on edge with the unexplained events occurring around the facility, and to add this insult to our tight schedule is too much to bear. If I cannot persuade Central Authority to take this complaint seriously, I'd like to remind them of Section 20, Paragraph 9 of UAC's Facility Regulations Code. It clearly states our employee rights, and we do not need this nonsense. I suggest you reprimand the individuals responsible and take adequate measures to ensure it doesn't happen again. Do not make me log additional complaints. <sighs> Bernice Tooley, signing off. Uh, I hope this thing is working. Um, uh, something is happening here and no one knows what's going on. Oh, the power is going crazy. We can't communicate with central administration and, and I've heard something... something like screams. Uh, I don't know. It, it, it was so... Disturbing. Okay, my assistant left me, and I'm all alone here. Um, okay, I'm gonna try to get the network working, but the systems are acting just crazy. I don't know what to do. Um, I think I, uh, what was that? Oh, oh my god. No! no! Okay, did she leave any emails? Oh, there's a couple here. To Harold Bunch. Hi Harold, you would not believe the idiots I have to work with here. Today one of the staff got hold of a grabber gun and started flinging off his chairs in operations. I can't wait for quarterly reviews to read a couple of them. Bernice. Bernice, you think you have it bad? I caught a bunch of technicians LARPing with the extra chainsaws in communications transfer the other day. What possesses them to do that stupid stuff? You'd think the ice cream socials I started last month would be the perfect outlet for employees. Harold Bunch, operations coordinator. Eric Nelson. Um, Ms. Tooley, I've just submitted my monthly report to the operations database for your review, even if our numbers remain nominal. I believe we will again miss our milestones. This will be the third straight month in a row. I'm not sure how we're going to spin the results again to corporate back on earth. Currently, the Exus staff is burned out from doing double shifts to get the sector fully functional. Combined with the strange incidents, I believe we'll have some real trouble on our hands here soon if we don't get more resources. Sincerely, Eric Nelson. Okay, let's carry on. run back to get a little bit of health but let's just see how we go heading down the stairs here oh I thought I killed him is he still 
alive? health station in here. Let me actually run back to that health station. Here we go. Excellent. You're back. The inducer is working perfectly, and the teleporter is ready for transport. Here's the situation. There's a teleporter outpost in the other dimension, and it's still operational. It's very powerful, and it has a range that could lead those demons all the way to Earth. I would disable it myself, but it requires two people to do it. One person at the outpost to initiate the teleporter and another person here to transmit a power search to destroy it. I know it's a lot to ask, but you'll need to go to the other dimension, find the remote outpost, and initiate the startup sequence. You're our only hope of defeating this evil. I've got the teleporter ready to go. All you need to do is go into the chamber and initiate the sequence. I'll handle the rest from here. But before you go, I want to give you my personal account of what happened here explains everything. The advanced teleporter, how the madness started, everything. It's over there on the console. Please take it. The world needs to know the truth. And good luck. Okay, a little bit loud in here. And knock it out now. My name is Dr. Richard Myers. I'm a research specialist, stationed at Nexus Labs. I don't know who will be hearing this, but I wanted to alert someone to the disaster at Mars City. What has been unleashed across this base is an unimaginable evil. And we only have a slight chance of stopping it. The research I participated in was the next step in teleportation. To give context to my research, back in 2115, UAC researchers discovered an ancient Martian civilization. At the Urbis dig site, they found a Martian teleportation device. It was non-functional, and all attempts to start it proved fruitless. It took many years, but the researchers managed to learn enough from the device and other wall carvings to reverse engineer it. The first prototype teleporter, codenamed Project Mercury, was built in Delta Labs and became operational in 2139. This teleporter was only capable of short distance travel and limited quantities of matter transference. It could only teleport a single test subject, small animals and chimps usually, across a roof. Once testing intensified and technical data increased, we were able to fabricate more powerful teleporters. In Delta Labs Sector 3, 
Project Gemini managed to increase teleportation across greater distances. In addition to the increased range, we found we could begin transporting human-sized subjects. It was during this stage we began to see the effects of opening up these portals to that strange dimension. Our scientific curiosity overruled the obvious warnings. And under Dr. Malcolm Petruger's direction, we continued experimenting. On Project Apollo, the engineers developed a room-sized teleporter in Delta Lab Sector 4. It was capable of teleporting a small-sized team to destinations on this new dimensional plane. The expedition teams began exploring and setting up small research outposts. We could only teleport small equipment with the Delta IV teleporter, and this condition frustrated Dr. Petruga. Soon after the success of Project Apollo, plans were drawn and work executed on a new facility, Exus Labs. At Exus Labs, the goal was to create a large teleporter, similar in scale to the one at Urbis. It would be powerful enough to transport large equipment, even dropships, and eventually shorten interstellar travel. Petruga was so impatient on seeing results from this research, he had the engineers start work on the teleporter once the facility reached 75% completion. We had expedition teams set up a teleporter outpost in the other dimension to link up with Exus. It was at this time I began investigating the strange stories I heard over Delta Labs. I managed to hack undetected into Petruga's personal logs. What I found scared me to the core. Petruger became obsessed with the findings of this new dimension. He started to push experiments, regardless of the human cost. His log entries into the occult and how to harness evil powers were truly frightening. The more recent logs detailed how demons, yes, demons, contacted him through his dreams, offering him unimaginable powers. But they demanded he find a way to help them reclaim Earth. So then I realized that this other dimension was hell itself. By the time I realized his plan, the Truger had started the invasion. Since the Exus teleporter hadn't reached sufficient functionality, I assumed the Truger decided to launch the demon invasion on Mars without it. However, the Hell Outpost teleporter is operationally ready, and it's only a matter of time before Petruger decides to use it. I'm going to try to reach Chief Engineer Rhodes in the Enfro facility to divert enough power to Exus, and with a little luck, create a big enough power surge to destroy it from here. Come to pray God will forgive me for my part in all this. I hope make things right. Lord, save my soul. Richard Myers. Okay, a little bit noisy with all the machinery here, but we've gotten most of that. So he's opened the decon chamber. Let's go through. Decontamination process started. Decontamination complete. I have the teleporter sequence already configured. Just activate the main console. When you reach the outpost, I'll be able to communicate with you. Systems activated. Teleportation will commence in T minus three, two, 